This is an interesting time for Apple. The company released its Q1 guidance saying, we're gonna make less profits, and they've been making some really kind of strange moves for Apple. Apple's known to be the company that everything's in-house. You're in our ecosystem, we're great, it's lovely, the sky is blue, and we're on top of heaven. And it looks like heaven is falling down. Well, Apple has done some interesting things lately to kind of match what the, the Q1 guidance has told us. So Tim Cook came out earlier this year and said, look, Q1 guidance says we're gonna have less profits. This is due to a couple of things, slower sales in China, also the fact that we uh, repaired 11 million iPhones as opposed to the normal one, one to two million a year, which coincided with the release of the brand new iPhones, the iPhone XS, 10s max as well as the 10r so a few people upgraded their iphones and this is worrying for the company now tim cook said they will focus on services and products that they actually have um, and that spells something very interesting for me it means lack of innovation yes i'm saying that because it seems that apple is focusing on that and also trying to expand more so let's take a look at some of the things that they are doing currently right now to bridge that gap of slower sales. First thing, at CES, they announced, or at least Samsung announced that Apple um, iTunes will be available on Samsung TVs, which is huge, which means your Samsung TV library, I mean, your, your uh, iTunes library, you can access it on Samsung TV. Samsung's the number one TV manufacturer in the world. So for them being the only one to actually have that is massive. Plus, they're also a big competitor against Apple and they have lawsuits against each other right now. So it goes to show you that, look, they're hemorrhaging money in certain ways that they need to fulfill and close the gap. Plus, we now also have AirPlay 2 on other TV manufacturers, LG included as well. So those capabilities are there. I believe the others too also have that. I can't remember how many TV manufacturers. That is huge. That is really important. It may sound small, but trust me, it is very, very big. Now, another news that came out today was that uh, Verizon will be offering Apple Music as a free package for anyone who picks up unlimited plans on Verizon. You know, again, that is huge. Verizon offered this before to get iTunes for six months, but now that you have it as a free bundle package, oh, this is crazy. It is huge. Can you believe it? Apple, who had its closed ecosystem, is now allowing bundles and packages and things like that, which I never thought would happen. Now, another one that is also really interesting is the fact that if you go to iTunes, so if you go to Apple right now on their website, they have trading deals that have been, have extended from last year to this year uh, for the iPhone XR and the iPhone XS. You can pick up the XR for 4, 449, XS for about 699 if you trade in an older device. Now, this is something Apple has done before. It's not strange, but the amount of time they've actually kept that window open has been small. It's longer, meaning again, they want you to upgrade. They are trying to force that notion. And it means again, those sales are low and they have to close that gap. Shows me a company who is looking at more of the um, strategic side of things and the structural side of things to actually close that gap and rather than the innovative side of things as well. So, hey, innovation Apple, where is it? Now, think. speaking of that though, and speaking of the iPhones, uh, a couple of rumors have come up with the iPhones. Of course, uh, starting off with design. We see that the, uh, the, it was a leak from OnLeak, who is of course a big leaker out there, and very well trusted, uh, showcased this first render for a triple camera setup for the iPhone, most likely for at least the iPhone 11 uh, Max uh, with a triple camera setup. It looks a little bit ugly to me, but hey, We'll see how it actually fares. Um, and then a, the day, a day after, we got a leak for a dual camera setup, most likely for the 10S and the, uh, uh, sorry, 11S and the 11, 11 and the 11R. The numbering really confuses me here. But that also looks very different. Again, showcasing that Apple is trying to catch up with its competitors, be it, you know, the Huawei's and the Samsung's of the world out there and, you know, LG's as, as, as well. So that's something to take note. Plus, we got a rumor that, uh, uh, Apple will be releasing a new iPod Touch. Again, something I didn't think most people bought right now. But coming with USB Type-C and the iPhone 11 will have USB Type-C according to the same rumors as well. 
That is huge. It means that Apple is moving away from Lightning, which of course was traditional um, money grabber, if you will, in terms of buying Lightning cables, accessories, and things like that. This is a proprietary uh, port, but now they're going to USB Type-C. Uh, again, shows where the company's heading. And also yesterday, just to add it, because it just came to my mind, Apple announced the release of battery charging packs for its iPhones, the 10R, 10S, and 10X Max. And granted, the iPhone 10S Max and the 10R have pretty good battery life, uh, so it's not something that's really needed. But again, that accessory market is something they rely on. So I think Apple is in a very interesting predicament. Do, do I think the discount and cost-cutting measures will help? I think in the short term it will. I think it will bring some respite. But I think the lack of innovation right now from the company is really telling. The fact that they don't have anything to combat 5G this year in terms of uh, devices that will support 5G radios or foldable devices, which are going to be big because Samsung has one coming out, Huawei has one coming out, um, and Xiaomi also talked about having one coming out. It's going to be huge as well. And Apple has no answers for both. So we'll have to see how this all pans out. But I think this would be a very interesting 2019 for Apple, especially as it pertains to their bottom line and what we see from the company. So if you have any questions or any comments, let me know, guys. If you agree with me or disagree with me, leave your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear because I think Apple as a company is in a very different spot as you compare it to the number one company right now, even Microsoft, who has been posting something really different in terms of striking deals and doing many things out there um, from a different perspective. So let me hear your thoughts, guys. Leave them down below. Don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that notification icon to get notified with our latest videos. Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.